I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about Microsoft Sway. As you see, it's promoted here in the online app section of Office 365. If I go to that, I'll actually be taken to Sway.com, where I'm signed in with my Office 365 account. But Sway is actually available for free with your Microsoft account also. So you just need to sign in with your Microsoft account and you cr can create Sways there. Uh, so these Sways that I create are stored on the Sway.com website. They're not stored in uh, my OneDrive or anything like that. This is a totally separate service from your Office 365. When you start, you start from a blank Sway or from a topic or from a, a document that you've already created. You can also start from a template. There's a bunch of templates here. Uh, if you're coming from the experience of working with PowerPoint presentation, this one might be the most familiar for you. So uh, let's start with that one. As you see, this has a presentation title. It looks very PowerPointy. And if I move on through these things, I get the usual parts of a presentation. I create interest, and then I get to my main points. And then finally, I have a conclusion at the end here. Reporting evidence is good also. You'll notice this is rather interesting that this sway actually scrolls horizontally. That's something that a PowerPoint presentation would never do, or very rarely at least. So that's one difference. And here is my conclusion at the end here. So let's go into edit mode on this presentation now. And you'll see that I get into an an online editor. There is a downloadable app also, which I'll show you shortly, but this is the main way of editing your presentation. And a presentation is not composed of slides like in PowerPoint, and, but rather cards. So you have cards of different types. As you see, you can have heading uh, cards, you can have text cards, and all these different types of things. Let's say if I want to have a video here you can drag and drop that in there and then add a video and that allows me to find suggested videos I didn't find any there I can also select from one, uh, a few online services here so let's go to YouTube for example and then you search for something so let's search for um, company internet and there's a very good video right there I can drag and drop that one up there and put a caption on that video learn how to build a company intranet. There we go. And of course, you can, as usual, replace these placeholders with something that's applicable to you. And one other thing that I want to show you is this design. When you go into that, you have um, different templates, the color scheme. If you don't have a preset idea of how your design should be, you could try the remix, and that gives you another suggestion based on your content. As you see, it's moving things around and uh, changing the layout and the fonts and all those. Under the layout, you have three different options. You have horizontal scrolling one, you have a regular slideshow based one, and then you have vertical scrolling. So some of these might work very well for your content. Uh, and also you need to think about how are people going to view your content? If, they're, if you're going to present stuff to them, then presentation mode might be good. If they're using it on a tablet, then scrolls horizontally might be good. And the vertical scroll is, of course, very good for a screen. However, these uh, presentations or sways actually do change sites. They are what's known as responsive. So they do work well on a device also. That's good to know. And of course, you can share this share with others. You can share it on docs.com, your public gallery, or you can get an embed code and uh, anyone with a link where it can be a public to, for everyone. There are some more options there. And you can also set a password so that actually only those people that are in your organization can see this. All right, so the default is shared, otherwise it's just me. So that's an important thing also in Sway, of course, that it's the default is that those Sways are shared. As you see, there are also tutorials up here. I also want to show you the Sway app, which is here. I've don't downloaded that from the Windows Store. And as you see, when you start that the first time, you get a little wizard. I'm going to skip that now for now and sign in. 
once logged in, you see exactly the same sways here. Now, when I open that, I get the same options and almost exactly the same UI as I had in the web. I can play it, I can um, uh, share it, all those things. So it's the same thing, whether you prefer to work with your Sways in the browser or in the Sway app, that's up to you. One thing that you might be interested in knowing also about when, when you start working with Sways is that there's currently no way to export these things. You can't save them as a PDF, you can't save them as a PowerPoint file or anything like that. They're only available in Sway. So that's an important thing to notice. That concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.